Welcome everyone. My name is Eric Cave. I am the director of NextGen Ministries for the Pacific Northwest Conference, and I'm here with a friend, Josh Creamer. He is a new church planter at Resurrection Covenant in Boise, Idaho, and we get to know him today. And I'm really looking forward to asking him some questions and finding out more about his ministry and his ministry background. So Josh, welcome. I'm glad you're here. Why don't we begin by um, asking that question. What is your personal and ministry background? Yeah, thanks, Eric. Good to be with you today and uh, hi to the, the conference. Um, yeah, so I grew up a pastor's kid. Um, our family settled in Boise about 30 years ago. My dad was a pastor at a church and um, non-denominational church. Uh, when I was in high school, I met, um, well, probably before that, but um, met and dated uh, the woman who would become my wife a few years later. Um, we dated in high school, got married right out of college after a couple of years long distance, my wife, Grace. Um, I went to school in Chicago and then uh, Vancouver, BC. And then after graduating with my MDiv uh, from Regent College in, in Vancouver, moved back to Boise uh, and then have been a pastor here for 13 years, again, in non-denominational church. Um, that kind of ended uh, strangely <laughs> within the last couple of years. Um, and, uh, so since then I had the firm sense that God was calling us to plant a church and discovered the covenant in that time and just have found a home, uh, with the covenant. Um, the other thing I would add is my, uh, uh my wife and I have three girls. You can kind of see their pictures behind me. Um, oh, yeah. three girls, 14, 10 and eight, and, uh, I'm sitting at their piano bench where they do all their amazing music and. I get to listen and don't do any music. So, um, yeah, that's kind of us. Thank you. I, I won't ask you to play for us. Yeah, please don't. I'm tempted to, but I won't. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Great. Thanks for sharing that. That's fantastic. It's good to know those, those things about you. So uh, what are you passionate about in ministry right now? Yeah, kind of the thing. I mean, church planting, um, I got to be passionate about a lot of stuff at the moment, but um, the thing that is really driving a lot of what we're up to um, is I'm passionate about caring for and pastoring those in need. And at the moment in Boise, that's a lot of, there's what we call church refugees, folks who have been uh, either feel like or have actually been forced out of their churches for a variety of reasons um, and reasons that don't seem always that good to us. Uh, so we're excited to welcome in and care for uh, kind of the, the church refugee community, along with the um, actual refugee community here in Boise. There's a good number of uh, Afghan refugees coming to town uh, in, in this season. So I want to care for them also. So, um, yeah, that's kind of what I'm passionate about right now, caring for the least and the lost and the oppressed and, and those who the church has kind of uh, we feel like the church has, has failed. Um, so. That's a lot of my passion. Yeah. And there's a lot, a lot happening in a church plant, of course. Yeah. Yeah. That's what draws a lot of it for us. And remind me, what is the stage of your church plant at right now? Yeah. So how long have you been meeting? Yeah. Yeah. We've been meeting. Um, so our, our, our prayer team started uh, last March. So it's been almost a year since we started praying together. We started gathering people in the summer uh, of 2021 uh, we started our small group discipleship groups in October, and yesterday we had our first um, kind of full worship service. We've done a couple of services in the park through Advent, but our first full worship service was yesterday on Zoom, um, which was great. It was first sermon that I've given in 11 months and a lot of fun. So uh, great, great community right now. That's good. That is a good timing to have this. Yeah, I agree with you. yeah. So how can we be praying for you and your church? Yeah, thanks. Uh, again, church planning, there's all kinds of ways to be praying. You can pray for everything. Um, so yeah, building a location would be kind of top of our or near the top of our prayer list. Um, developing teams and empowering leaders. Uh, we've got, um, again, amazing people, but uh, getting them set up so that they can be empowered to go do the work God's called them to in our community. Um, kind of big picture, just that we would be a community that lives out the way of Jesus here in Boise, that we are demonstrating um, a whole gospel uh, 
uh, for the people here at Boise and caring for people in that way. And then uh, personally, uh, we, our house um, just has, is dealing with mold in the crawl space. So if you'd pray for that, we would love it. It's been a real pain. Um, so it's been a month and a half of machines in the house and drying uh, stuff. All that, so love the prayers for that. Yeah, I'm sorry to hear that. I'll be praying for you. I hope everyone watching this will also commit to be praying for you. Yeah, thanks. So let's wrap up with, uh, have a little fun. I've got four kind of random questions for you. Uh, three of them you picked and one of them I'm going to surprise you with. And uh, so these are just quick answers. So let us know a little bit about you through these, through these questions. So the first one is what's one thing you couldn't live without? One thing I couldn't live without. Um, good books and good music. I think those, that's two things, but good books okay. maybe combined with good music. Yeah. Is there a good music book? <laughs> okay. Uh, where is your favorite place to be? Yeah, the, the ocean. Um, for me, the Oregon coast is like the spot, uh, missed in the morning or at sunset. Those are, I mean, that's yeah. the times on the coast. Good answer. Uh, what's the weirdest job you've ever had? Okay. So I was the sound guy, my freshman year in college, I was in McMinnville, Oregon, and I was the sound guy for the school. And we did some of the weirdest stuff. My, probably the weirdest was there was a school sponsored rave. And so I ran sound and set up and everything for this school sponsored rave. I love it. That's great. Okay. Last question. This is a surprise one. Which one would you want the most flying cars, robot housekeepers, or moon cities? I think robot housekeepers makes a lot of sense to me. And uh, I think my wife would be very happy with that. <laughs> it's the most practical, right? Yeah, that's right. That's right. <laughs> Good. Well, Josh, thank you so much for the time uh, to just share about yourself and let us into your world. Um, like I said, I'll be praying for you. I hope others will be as well. Please, if you're watching this video, you can follow uh, Josh on his social media accounts. If you look at the links down below, you can go to his church's website, discover more what's going on there, reach out to him, let him know that you love him and are praying for him. Uh, again, thanks, Josh, thanks so much for the time and for being here with us today. Yeah, thank you, Eric. And uh, yeah, blessings to you and to the whole conference. It's a gift to be a part of, of a community uh, of the covenant here in the Northwest. So thanks. God's provided an amazing way. To us. There's a dog. It's okay, don't worry about it. Knock it off, bud. Um, <laughs> I love it the way he barks at the neighbors that he knows and cares for, but <laughs> when they're outside, they're the worst. <laughs>